Good day everyone, Mr. Cargill here with our next AutoCAD video. Now for this video we are going to look at how we go about completing the drawing of an inferior trochoid. Now a trochoid is similar to a centroid, except for the fact that the centroid pl plots the path of a line or a point on a circle, sorry, as the circle makes one complete revolution along a straight line. While a trochoid will plot the locus of a point that is outside or inside the circle as the circle makes one complete revolution. No, if the point is outside the circle that will be a superior trochoid. If it's inside the circle that would be an inferior trochoid. I made a previous video on the superior trochoid. So this video that I'm making is going to be about the inferior trochoid. Alright, so now when you're given an inferior trochoid to draw or a trochoid in general, you will be given the radius of the rolling circle, the radius or the diameter of the rolling circle, and then you will also be given the location of the, of the trochoid. All right, so in this case, let's say we're given a circle. All right, so we're given a circle, and the radius for that circle is 40. And then you'll be given the location of the trochoid. It will say the trochoid is like, a certain amount of millimeters outside or inside the circle. So let's say the trochoid is um, 15 millimeters inside the circle. So that's our trochoid point, right here, the first point of our trochoid. So now we'll select a circle and then we'll draw this circle from the center of the original circle right to the end point of this line. All right, good. So now I'm going to click on this line and delete that. So now I have my circle. I'm going to do so divide both circles into a number of equal parts. We can use 12. You could use 8 as well. 12 just gives you more points, which is good. Alright, so what I did was just turn on quadrant in all of Alright. Click snap, you just turn on quadrant, and then you will be able to select um, this quadrant and then this next quadrant and draw a line from the left quadrant to the right quadrant so then I'm going to click on both these lines here all right I'm going to click on both these lines and then I'm going to type array select array polar then click in the center here my circle is divided into two so now I'm going to correctly number each point or label each point all right, with a multi-line text, I'll just click here, create a little box. And the first point down here is going to be zero. So we start from zero. And this is zero, so we're going to go one in a clockwise direction. Um, and we're in a clockwise direction because the circle is going to be rolling in a clockwise direction. All right, this is zero, so the next point is going to be one. So I'll just copy this zero to all the different points. And then I'll change the value of the zero to make one to... 11 all right and i'm going to change the color of it i'm going to make it yellow all right so that's zero i'm going to copy this to all the different points here so I just need to turn off, I just need to turn off um, ortho here and object snap. All right, so I'm gonna copy this, bring it to all these different points. All right, so I'm bringing the Z points and then I'm going to change the values again for this part of the video it's just numbering so if you already understand numbering, you can it. I, I could edit this section but I don't really leave it in because I just want to have every single thing in the video step by step going through I don't want to take for granted that people will understand to do things already um, and if you do understand then you can skip if not then you would learn from the videos right, so this point is zero so then this is one here And we're going to label from there all the way 
to 11. I said this five. I know this six. Eight here. Nine, eleven, and then this is our last point. Nice. What we're going to do now is this. this circle is going to be rolling on a line. All right, and the line is going to be equal to the circumference circle. The um, line is a circle making one complete revolution. So. Um, I'm going to use the formula um, pi times the di um, diameter, and in this case, the diameter of our rolling circle is 80. The radius is 40. So I'm going to go to utilities, click on this calculator. I'm going to select pi. It's going to be pi times 80. That equals 251.32. I was going to use one decimal point. So I'm going to go 251.3. So this line here. I'm going to turn on back object snap and ortho. Alright, and, right, and then I'm going to divide this line into two. I'm going to type divide. Click on this line. It says enter the number of segments. I want 12 seg segments. I'll type 12 and press enter. And then I see my division points. If you're not seeing your division points, just type DDP. Click on DDP type. Um, then select any one of these that you want to represent a division point. Select the size, and I'm going to use two. And set this in absolute units. All right. Good. All right. So now here, what we're going to do is from here, I'm going to copy this to the top of this large circle here. I'm going to draw some lines from here. So from here, down here, from one edge to the next edge. And then I'll just copy this to the different John points. So I'm going to copy that. And then I'm going to bring that to all of those other division points. Alright, so let me copy from, from here and I'll bring that to all the different points. This didn't go to the right point, so I'm going to need to, what does it keep on? One here. Okay, I need to delete this. Alright, so we're going to bring this line to all our division points. All of the division points. There we go. There we go. Alright, so we're bringing these lines to all these different division points. Like that. Nice. So once we have all those points, we are now going to need to draw some horizontal lines. And we are going to use a different color for those horizontal lines. Let's use cyan. So those horizontal lines are going to come from the different points on the small circle here. So from here, we will draw across all the way to this point here, to the last point. Then we will draw a line from five, from that point there. So here, so it's where the division lines meet the circle. So where the diagonal division line meets the circle, I'll draw a line from there. The line from five 
from 0.5 because it comes comes down to this is 0.5 um and then this goes through 0.7 and then the one from four will go through eight all right so so three and nine are on the center line here so i'll bring this up across here. All right. and then we draw this line from here sorry not, not on the circle, small circle so draw this line from point two on a small circle, bring that across over here, draw this line from one here, bring that all the way over here, and then the last point is at zero. So there we go. So now this is what we're going to do. We're going to copy the circle. Alright. We're going to copy the circle. So let me copy and we're going to bring it to all these different points here so the line nine and three is the center line let's make, let's make the center line a different color let's make the center line magenta so we're going to copy this circle and bring it to all the different points along the center line i'm going to explode this i'm going to type explode so it treats all the lines differently so that i can make this part of the center line um magenta as well so there we go. the center line is completely magenta so i'm going to copy the small circle so i select copy so this is our first point on the center line this is where the first vertical line meets the center line so the second vertical line meets the center line here the third one is here the fourth one and this is the fifth sixth Eight, nine, ten, eleven, and we end where we started. Nice. So let me just check that I have the right amount. We have zero. So this is zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, very nice. All right. So you would um. You would number here as well. So this is zero. This is the first point, first line. So this would be one, three, four, five, and so on, going all the way back to zero here, because we end where we start. All right. So now let's plot our. We have the points, so we just need to plot the points for our um show. Right? So this is how we go about plotting the points. I'm going to type spline, or spline. Right here is P L I N E. The first point of our show card is here at zero all right the base of this circle at the inner circle i'm not going to we're going to turn off um ortho all right so this is the first circle this is our first circle and it is this first um, um cyan horizontal line right here so now this is our second circle our second circle and this is the line this is the line that comes from the second um cyan line this is point one on the large circle so this is point one on the small circle and then this comes from point one zero and then one this is our first um second line so this is our second second line and this is our second circle and the second circle means the second second line right here and then the third circle is this circle means the third horizontal line here the fourth one is going to be the center line is right here and it's right here all right so this is the circle here this is the circle that meets our um, center line all right. and it meets it right at that point right. i'm just checking out the correct point so far i do okay so then our fourth circle is this one meets the center line here fifth circle is this one meets the center line here and then the sixth circle is this one here no that's the sixth circle this is the fifth circle the sixth circle is this one so you know, I press space bar because I just did, did the drawing to halfway. And then halfway, I can finish the drawing. I think I might have more circles than I should, but let's see. Click here, and then I'm going to set mirror. Turn on ortho. Alright, and then just click right where this, where we ended here. And bring our cursor down, and just click down here. Erase source object, no, because we want to keep the source object. And that is our inferior trial card. It goes from the start, it goes up. 
all the way to six and then mirror it so it go back all the way down to here and as you can see it means the correct point so it ends right here all right and then yes yeah, so it ends right there and it goes through and um, with all the other points and so on all right so yeah, next circle means the cyan line and so on whatever means the cyan line right here and it just continues where the circle means the cyan line there right there um yeah and it continues like that. all right good so that is how you would go about constructing an ethereal trocoid. card i hope you found this i hope you found this video helpful if you did Please drop a like and uh, subscribe and turn on your bell for when we, so that you can be notified when we release um, any new videos. So thanks for watching and, and have yourselves a fantastic day.